What is a beam model? A few weeks ago, I released a video where I covered the main roles in BIM. And I said there are mainly BIM modelers, BIM coordinators and BIM managers. These are the most popular ones and the most known ones. Well, in each of these roles, there are some kind of people with some specific background and qualifications that are working in, right? So today, let's dive into what is a BIM model. And I would like to use for this some comments that I got to my original video. And thank you very much for these comments. I really appreciate it. And please understand something. The whole idea of that video was to mention the most popular ones, the most encountered ones, right? Because under these roles, there are many others and they are also intersecting in some situations as well. So today, let's go and have a look at this role right here, B model. Let's start with actually going through the comments that I got and use this as the foundation of this conversation. So thank you very much, Christina Schulzoa. Let's see what she has to say about this. The model should be authored by the building designers, architects, civil and structural engineers, MEP specialists, though using the software to document their design decisions. I hope the B-modeler role becomes as obsolete as CAD monkey or typist soon. But I agree, qualified specialists are hard to come by and it's not always possible to choose the BIM literate ones. Between, I don't mean any disrespect, Blender BIM is awesome and so is your content. Okay, thank you very much, no problem. I don't uh, get offended by this, I appreciate all the feedback that I get and this is solid uh, feedback. When I personally think about a BIM modeler, it's very difficult for me to find any BIM modelers around me in Norway, in my industry to find people who are not engineers or who don't have a technical background. So I'm not really sure, like I don't see this situation like when we are thinking about someone who has learned how to become a BIM modeler without having this background. I don't think there are people actually, there might be the case, I don't know any case like this, people who are not engineers or architects who have gone and learned to do BIM modeling and then become a BIM modeler. I think the closest that I can come to is technical draftsmen who are not educated as engineers or architects, but they have been working with this. They are not designers, but they have been detailing. And this is the closest thing. And I think it's valid. Like those people should be accepted as part of this BIM modeler group. Some situations, they of course need to work closer to designers and so on, but to be able to translate this into good information models with the right information that we need, I think they have the cap capabilities. I don't imagine somebody who has been working in a warehouse as a clerk jumping into this. No, that's not what I mean by any means, by any stretch of imaginations or somebody using Blender doing artistic work to come to this and become a BIM modeler. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it could be very, very difficult without proper training like university or at least, I don't know, some kind of school. So that's not what I mean. I would love to hear from you if you know that there are some like cut monkey. Yeah, I think we need this kind of cut monkeys. I think there is still a role for them to be played. Although I understand the reasoning behind that every B modeler should be an engineer or an architect. And most of the cases there are, that does not mean that these engineers and architects are proper designers and have a lot of experience in designing things. Most of the time they get their feedback from more experienced engineers, right? So that's exactly what I'm saying here as well. Just that, of course, this is not the kind of role that anyone outside of the industry can just jump in. So I hope this clarifies my stand on this. Again, 95% of the time, if not more, the BIM modelers are going to be BIM engineers, BIM architects, because we see also these roles, right? I think these roles fit right under this umbrella of BIM modelers, where the BIM modeler is that person, that kind of engineer, architect, whatever he is, technical guy, who is creating these models with the right information for design, building, maintenance, and even demolition. So yeah, this is my personal understanding of what a BIM modeler is, and this is what I believe. Let's go to the next one. Ivan Starr, I just cut the first part of your comment because the next ones are not towards the BIM modeler role, are directed to BIM coordinator and other ones. So a few questions to show that this is an oversimplified approach. You are right. That was the whole purpose of that video, to be very oversimplified. And I mentioned that exactly, right? Like the most popular roles. And if you think about everything else that comes to your mind, BIM analyst, 
beam lead, whatever, they fit to under one of these three main roles, which is beam modeler, beam coordinator, and beam manager, because they are doing some kind of things that are under the responsibilities of these roles. How they are called, that's a different matter, but this is what I mean. Yeah, it's very oversimplified, but at the core, these are the three main roles that there are out there. Of course, there will be specialists in depending on the companies, depending on the country, depending on the requirements for BIM in that country. So yeah, there are many, many variables here, but that was the whole purpose of that video, to just cover the core roles, right? And that's it. That's why I did not dive deeper into it, because I planned to record more videos like this one, where I go deeper into each of them. Okay. So, to answer to your question, should a BIM modeler be qualified as an architect or builder? Is it possible to model something you have no idea about? Is he an engineer or an artist? Exactly. I would say that I already answered to this question because it would be very, very difficult to jump from being an artist to make a technical building that will be built. It's definitely not possible to do that. Or let's dial back a bit. Nothing is impossible, but 99% of the time, People behind these roles, beam modeler roles, are engineers or architects. I think over 90%. I don't know if it makes any sense to keep repeating myself, but yeah, this is my take, like I said. Beam modeler, they are architects and engineers who have pivoted into doing this specific thing instead of doing something else like, I don't know, being a site supervisor or doing quantities or like these are also engineers or architects or technologists, right? So yeah, this is what happens in this case as well. Of course, most of the time we're talking about engineers and architects. Just that the BIM modeler actually is not all the time a BIM official role. Like BIM coordinator and BIM manager is more normal, but BIM modeler sometimes there are structural engineers who are modeling BIM models, or there are also other kind of title like BIM project engineer, architect BIM modeler, or BIM architect and so on. Like this goes under this. But what I try to say by BIM modeler are the people who are creating the information models that we are using for all these purposes. Then Stan Sunesen, hi Stan, thank you for the clarifications. Yeah, thank you as well for your comment. There are many different titles for the functions. Yeah, that's completely true. To add to the clarification, the function of a BIM modeler can be assigned to the same person that is also architect or engineer in a project. That's exactly correct. That's exactly also my take. Just that, again, the video I created, it was an overview. So now we're diving in. And that's exactly what I also see here. In Norway, we also call BIM modeler for BIM Fagansvarli. I don't think that's exactly right in all situations. That might be the case for some companies, this depends a lot on different companies, uh, or BIM discipline responsible, meaning that they are responsible for the deliverable of the discipline. Yeah, like I said, I'm not saying you are wrong, most probable you are in some situations, I'm just saying that depends on the company and depending if it's an engineering design company or if it's a general contractor or a client, right? So. I think it's not very clear, but to be honest, I think in exactly referring what you are saying here, most of the time, the BIM discipline responsible, it's actually has these responsibilities on top of other things. But again, like this varies from company to company, but you might be right about this, especially when it comes to the design companies. That might be just the case. Yeah. yeah. So this is my rant on this. Sorry for the confusion I created with the first video. I hope this clarifies a bit. And if we sum this up again, the BIM modelers are people, architects, engineers, technical people who have been working in the industry, who have been creating drawings maybe before, who have a background in the industry. And they are creating these information rich models that are going to be used from concept to demolition of a project. Hopefully, reuse of a project most of the time. I hope this helps clear out from the confusions from my first video. And if you want to see other interesting videos, you might want to start with this one right here.